we have an absolute treat for you here today. 1964 Chevrolet Impala 409 car. We've got photos of the engine numbers and everything. Seller says it's numbers matching. And from what we can tell, that is correct. This car is black on black and a real sleeper. You know, we've got the uh, steel wheels with the hubcaps, bench seat, no mirrors. Uh, pretty base car, except for the fact that it's got the 409 425 horse backed by a four speed. So, we're going to take a deeper dive into this and show you guys a little bit more about this awesome 64 Impala. Take a look under the hood here. Again, you can see we've got the legendary 409. This was actually the last year for the 409. We've got pictures on our site showing the numbers down here. Uh, but the partial VIN stamping does match the car. And the uh, suffix codes and everything do come back to a 409-425 horse. Let's see if I can get them there in the video as well. So really nice clean car. It was actually restored in 91. We've got receipts for a lot of the work that was done there as far as an engine rebuild, paint work, things like that. And then receipts since then for normal maintenance. Um, seller says that uh, when he bought the car, it was all original and uh, it believed to be actual mileage of 20 something thousand actual miles. He's owned the car now for several years and has barely driven it. So, uh, title does not document the actual mileage, but he says based on you know all original glass, all original trim, all original body panels, everything like that, original engine. Um, he believes it to be actual mileage. Got the cowl tag here. Again, we've got a photo of this on our site. If you want to look at it and decode it and everything, but there it is in the video as well. Dive into the interior here. It's a nice combination, vinyl and cloth. See these cool inserts. Kind of a three-tone, really. So out of over 185,000 Impalas made in 1964, 8,684 received the 409. There were several 409s. This is the highest horsepower at 425 horse. The other neat thing about this car is that it's not an SS. So somebody went with the, the highest horsepower engine they could get, but then did not splurge for the SS package, which again, just kind of leans into that notion of this is a pure sleeper. They didn't want everybody to know what they had under the hood. Other than the little 409 emblems on the fender, you would never know. So make sure you check out our website, www.survivor-cars.com. We've got about 188 pictures of this car along with another video with a start up and drive. So you can hear the engine, you can see us take it down the road. This one here is a little more uh, just, just for information to give you some production numbers and show a little bit of a different angle of the car. We thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.